everyone, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today for this week's Friday Haul. Today is Friday, June 21st. Hope you all are doing wonderful. Like I mentioned last week, I do have a large haul to share with you today, so we're just gonna get right on into it. So the first item I got, this is a uh, AC cardstock, which if you watch my channel, you know I use this paper a lot for my um, uh, card making projects, especially 3D projects because they're really nice weight papers, they're textured, and they're solid core. So this one I got from HSN, and I have been getting, I got two other ones recently when they had free shipping. And after I placed that order, I got a coupon, an emailed coupon for $15 off my next order and it just had to be over $15. So once again, I waited until it was a free shipping day. And so I ordered this and this was, I think it was $16.95. So I got the $15 off plus free shipping. So what a great deal, right? So this one is the jewels, jewel tone uh, combination. So these are all the pretty colors it comes with just like darker jewel tones, obviously. And I'll show you the back. The, the ones at the end are more like earth tones. So um, those are good to have as well. So these are all of the colors. And I will try to link this down below. Like I mentioned before, if you wanna order these from HSN, just try to, try to wait until you can get a free shipping day because otherwise the shipping is 550 per pack. So I think it's a good idea to wait. So I got that. And then um, I got two orders in from a cherry on top. One of them was a pre-order and it was this new collection that I just couldn't wait to get. And uh, Sophia, who is her, her, yes. Hi, Sophia, if you're watching. She eat, or uh, contacted me on Instagram. She's like, did you see that new collection? I said, yep, I had already pre-ordered it. So <laughs> here it is. And this one is called Roll With It. And this is a baking theme, like a vintage retro baking theme collection. So it's by Cartabella and the artist is Stephen Duncan. I usually like everything he does. So when I saw this was coming out, I just put everything I wanted as the pre-order. And I think at the time, a cherry on top had like 20% off, like a 20% off coupon code. So I used that. And uh, yeah, so it was the day it came online. They shipped it out. So I just got it um, yesterday or the day before. I haven't really looked at it yet. I thought we would do it together. So I got the collection kit and a few other elements. So let's take a look. So if you guys like baking thing projects or just retro or kitchen, I think you're gonna like this collection as well. So this one comes with um, 12, 12 by 12 double-sided textured papers and then the sticker sheet. So, and then of course you can use these little pictures on the front. I do that with, with my cover sheets. Okay, so we have that and then this paper is the first one and it looks like a like a vintagey kind of kitchen towel. And let's see if it has, yeah, the name's on the back. And this one is called Roll With It Floral. So that's the back of that one. This paper's okay, I like the floral. And then the next one, look at this, oh, some cut aparts. How cute is this, right? Look at all those vintage images. It looks like like 1950s cookbooks to me. Oh, I just love this. And I love making cookbooks, recipe books, so I think this will be perfect. My son's name is Mason, so this will be really nice to add to some sort of collection or, you know, photo layout with him in it. That's so cute. I love these pictures. How cute, right? I'm gonna be saying cute a lot. So um, this one is called Multi-Journaling Cards, and that's the back of that one. It looks like kind of a distressed, uh, like dark red paper. I'm going to try and go a little quicker because I have lots of other stuff to share with you. This one has pretty color oven mitts. And then this is the back. It's kind of like a chartreuse green color uh, gingham. It's called oven mitts. And this is like the background is not stark white. It's kind of more like like an like a off-white color or a cream color. So it, it definitely adds to the vintage feel. Like you can see the branding strip is white and the background is definitely darker. There's there are these uh, pretty stripes there. And then the back is this wood grain and it even has like a postage cancellation stamp right there as well. That's called Sweet Stripes. This one is some more cut aparts and I ordered extras of this one, I think. So look at these, oh, so adorable. Don't be afraid to take whisks. Life is what you bake of it. Baking love 
Baking is Love Made Edible, Baking Queen, and just lots of different ones. You can make tags out of these, cards. Oh, I love to bake, so I can't wait to use this. This is the back. This is called Baking Journaling Cards. And it's a whole baking shopping list. That's fun. That would be a cute layout. This page I just love. This small scatter print with all the different baking things. Right? Isn't that cute? And then the back is like this green kind of grid print called Kitchen Essentials. The next one has all these different colors of layer cakes. So pretty. Love the colors. And this pretty pink with polka dots on it on the back. It's called Delicious Cakes. And it does have some like distressing on the sides, if you can see that. And then I think I ordered extras of this one too. Oh, I love this stove. That reminds me of that uh, Peddler's Pack stove stamp I have. Just as nice as pie. I love pipers. I have a couple of those. Life is short, make it sweet. Sweets for my sweet. All made with love. I just made chocolate chip cookies today. Reminds me of that. And this one is called 4x4 journaling cards. A really pretty like calico print on the back. Here's a paper with uh, bread on cutting boards and pies, pie slices. Love that. And that's the back of that one. A pretty like Robin's egg blue color. Homemade goods. And then the next one is this like bold uh, plaid. And the back looks like this. Looks like a dish towel. And that's called perfect plaid. The next one, look at this one, <laughs> how cute. You can make cute little book covers with this. Maybe like use one of the KS Craft like little book dies. That would be really, really nice. Or you can make a tag flip with these. Let me just skim. You could always pause the video if you want to check these out in more detail. But how cute is that? The little spoon dressed like a chef. Easy Bake Cookbook. Aunt Cleo's Midwestern Baking Recipes. Oh, I love that. And then, oh, look at this. Recipes on the back. Mrs. Joan Clifton's Home Kitchen Baker Cookbook. Mmm. Look good. This one's called Cookbooks. And then we have some stand mixers. So adorable. And the back is a green plaid made with love mixer mixers. And here are the stickers. Oh, so adorable. Again, it's like a uh, off-white background. Oh, I love this. Love, love, love this collection. I love how it adds some florals in there, but then the kitchen elements too, and just like the retro 50s look. Love that. Okay, so that's a collection kit called Roll With It. And of course I got some other things. Like I said, I got a couple extra um, papers. I did get this one and that's the back. And then I got this one too. I might have to get more, but that's what I got so far. And I didn't get, oh, I did get, here it is, the six by six paper pen. <laughs> it was right on top. So this is 24 double-sided paper. So I'll just go through this quick because I'm sure it's the same as the uh, collection kit. But yep, just smaller scale, which is nice. Look at those. Those are, those would be great for the KS Craft, like the small uh, book die. There's like a jello mold. So yeah, let's just do a quick flip through of these. Very nice. And let's make sure these are smaller scale. Okay, so like if you match up the one from the collection kit to the paper pad, the six by six, six you can see it's smaller scale. So that's good. I love having options. You know, sometimes if you're making a, a smaller project like a tag or a smaller card, you want a smaller, smaller scale print so you can see everything, you know. All right, so so just to give you an idea of what's in here, what they look like, looks like a double, it repeats. So really cute, right? Okay, so I got that. And then I also got the frames and tags, and this is what it comes with. I will open it so you can see what they look like, the sizes and things like this. But um, 
what does it come with? 34 die cut cardstock pieces. Let's take a look at these. What was that? That was a little plate of cookies. Let's see, a tag, let's stay home and bake. Conversions. Oh, I, I have to make another recipe book, right? Kids can bake. I mean, this it would be so easy to make a recipe book just using this theme and you could decorate each page with some ephemera and some of the other things I got. So yeah, it's on a cherry on top, probably other places too. Oh, that's so cute. Looks like me and my son. My son is, well, he was blonder when he was younger and I had <laughs> dark hair when I was younger. So it's retro for us too. <laughs> me and my husband. Now yeah, there's me <laughs> with the gray hair. <laughs> Some more little tags. So, so cute. Good embellishments. Good sizes, too. Love these. Nice as pie, right? Nice as pie. There's that cake. Gather together at home. Got a bake. Homemade. Gather. Here's one of the frames. So you could pop out the inside and it's a frame. Then you'd have that piece of ephemera, too. There's a few more like that. So love those. Again, that's the frames and tags. I'll put them back later. I also got the regular ephemera and this comes with 34 die cut cardstock pieces and those are all the pieces that comes with. So let me move these over. Let me just put them together so I don't get them mixed up. Not that it's that big a deal, but I would like to be able to look at the back and see what's in the package if I'm looking for something in particular, you know. Okay, so, so the ephemera, there are those in there, and then life is what you bake it. Very similar, but obviously, well, there are frames in this too, so it just depends on the variety you want, if you want to get just one of them. Some more sentiments, easy bake, cute, cute. Don't be afraid to take whisks. There's like the um, name of the collection. Mason's baking powder. Let's cook something yummy. Oh, this one's so cute, right? Ah, these are so adorable. So there's the regular ephemera. And I think that's all I got from that collection. There might have been more. Um, I didn't see like the, the brads. Maybe they just weren't available for pre-order, but I don't think that they were there. I'll have to go back and check and, you know, take stock and see if I want to order anything else the next time I order. So anyway, that's a collection. Roll with it. I also picked up a few other things from a cherry on top. This was a separate order. I did get the six by eight paper pad of Simple Vintage Linen Market. I think I told you guys I was going to do that. Let me just do a quick flip through of this because I did show this collection on another video. So this has smaller scale prints, of course. And this order took uh, a while. I think I was telling you that uh, my order was being delayed because of one item and it was this one. I guess they had to get it from the manufacturer first before they shipped out my order. But anyway, that finally came in. So I was glad to see that. And then I ordered some of the chipboard stickers from the Crafty Things collection, which I also showcased in another um, haul video, but I didn't get the chipboard stickers. So I thought I would pick them up this time. And uh, yeah, I think they're beautiful and glad to have those for this collection. Love that collection. And I did get a few more uh, loose pieces of paper. I got two of these from the Let's Get Crafty. Um, let's Get Crafty. No, Crafty Things Collection, this pretty floral. I just love the colors of this. So I got that. That's what the back of that looks like, which is also beautiful, but I really got it for the floral. And then I got these from the Simple Vintage Linen Market. I love this floral. I think the other floral I liked was not available as a single purchase, so I just got two of those. And then I got this six by six paper pad from Lawn Fawn. This is a this is new out this summer from their summer release. And this is pint size patterns, summertime. And it's 36 sheets of fun. So it's 36 sheets with 12 coordinating designs. So let me just show you what's in here. I love Lawn Fawn papers. I have like a whole separate bin just for like Lawn Fawn six by sixes because they always have the cutest, just subtle little prints, you know? And I think they're really good for like paper piecing. 
So this one, if you could see, it's got like tiny little suns on there in white on this beautiful yellow background. So there's that one. Here's a very uh, subtle yellow check. Here's a green background with little daisies on that. I love that one. And then green, like uh, they're diagonal stripes, but the stripes are like dotted lines, if you could see that. And then there's a multicolor polka dot. And lawn foam papers always fall apart like this, the six by sixes. So this paper is really pretty. It's like a blue gray with a grid. And then there's little open circles on that light blue paper, a rainbow diagonal stripe, purple with hearts on it. That's cute, right? And then kind of the same kind of purple, a little bit more magenta-y with a grid. There's red with little tiny stars, tonal stars on it. And then there's that uh, diagonal stripe again with the dots, but in a red color. And then the yellow with the suns, is that where we started? Yeah, so then it repeats, I guess, three of each. So I oh, just love to have lawn fawn papers. Um, if I really like them, I, I pick them up whenever they come out with a new one. So there's that. And then I got another new collection. This is from Doodlebug. You've probably seen this already, but this is their new 4th of July collection. This one is called Hometown USA. So this is the collection kit, or they call it the paper pack, and it comes with 12 double-sided cardstock sheets and one this and that sticker. So let's take a look at this. Um, I have some patriotic papers, but not really Doodlebug, and sometimes I just want like really cutesy kind of papers. So. That's why I got this, and it's just, you know, if you like Doodlebug, you're gonna like this too. It's just super, super cute. It's just got this whole like Main Street kind of parade looking uh, print right here with different floats, and oh, this is so sweet. You could just, you know, sit and stare at this and find something new every time you look at it. So I love this. Even though it's a big paper, it's small scale too, so that it'll be really easy to use. And then the back of, well, this one's called Hometown USA. On the back of that is the polka dot with gray, blue, and red. And then this one is with all the stars. It's called, well, it's called All Stars. <laughs> so really pretty. And then, so this is all like the journaling um, cut apart you can use if you want to do that. So love these for mini albums, definitely. If you're making like a summer mini album, this would be nice to add for journaling. Here's one of their Doodlebug's beautiful plaids. It's a patriotic color scheme, plaid to be an American. And then beautiful fireworks on the, on the backside with little stars coming out of them. Love that blue tonal print. And then here we have Land of the Free with all of the uh, kind of American flags, just one star in the, in the uh, blue rectangle so cute you could cut those apart too and then red hearts on the back on the back of that one of doodlebugs i love this plaid that doodlebug always does and this is in a really pretty red like a cherry red it's called picnic plaid and the teeny little flowers for the back so pretty and then we have this like scatter design all american it's got the statue of liberty fireworks carts ice cream carts I just did a uh, video for KS Craft with an ice cream truck. So I like that idea of making it a patriotic thing, theme. That's super cute. I'll have to remember that. So really, really cute. I love the balloon bundle. Sorry for saying cute. I just, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then here we have a tonal print on the back, this beautiful blue color. I love that blue. Right, see all the little images on there? Definitely can act as a solid. And then we have some multicolor, well, patriotic color fireworks. This one's called Summer Celebration. And these are all the cut aparts. Some are horizontal, some are vertical, which is really nice here smoking. Land that I love, USA. That bike is so cute. Have a blast on your birthday. Lots of summer birthdays. I know like several people who have 4th of July birthdays, so that would be perfect. Or any time in July, I think. Uh, summer fun, let the good times roll. Thank you for your service, that's awesome. So there's that one. And then here we have their diagonal stripes, patriotic colors called red, white, and blue. 
And then the back has the tonal tiny star print. That's nice. And I don't have that many like blue uh, pattern papers too, so that's good. And then these are teeny tiny little polka dots called polka dot pride. And the back has all the different strips. You could cut those apart. I love to do that. Cut them apart and add them to the bottom of tags or cards. This bunting is beautiful. Love that. Did you see Jill? Jill Norwood um, made a video. She made bunting out of doilies. Oh, they were so cute. You have to check out her video if you haven't seen it. But um, hi, Jill. If you are watching, I'd love those buntings you made. And then this one is called um, I Heart America with all the hearts. And the back is, oh, that's cute. The paisley. Love that. That's, oh, yeah, I Heart America. Forgot. And then here's their plaid again, Blast of Blue with white on it, and some cut aparts, different sizes. I love their scallop circle ones. How cute is that, right? Oh, that's, I like that one, the picnic table. And then all the strips you can cut apart and add to your tags or cards or layouts, albums, what have you. And then here are the tags called Tag Your It. So oh, adorable, adorable. And the back is just the back of the tags. Easy, ready to go tags. And oh, look at the stickers there. I didn't realize it'd be so foiled like that. Oh, beautiful. Love the, the um, strips at the bottom. I mean, you can't get any cuter than that, you know? Fourth of July with the little pickup truck, the cat, the bird, the dog, the kids. I just love it. Love this whole collection. So nice. Statue of Liberty. My family and I, uh, we went to see the Statue of Liberty. I've been there, you know, once or twice before. I'm from Long Island. I used to live in the city. But we went and took the kids and met, you know, other family members there too. This was a, uh, it's a few years ago now. I remember it was so hot that day, but it's really neat to go if you ever get a chance. So I got those and then I got the shape sprinkles with the flags. I wonder why they did some backwards. Hmm, that's interesting. Cause when you fly the flag, the, the, the uh, star is supposed to be, I guess if you were, yeah, if you're going to display it like that, the uh, star should be in the upper left corner. So that's probably why. Cute. I love these little enam or, um, yeah, enamel stars. All the different blues and all the colors that go. And then I had to get these. These are the puffy stickers, the puffy icons. So let's take a look. Look at all the barbecue foods on the bottom or picnic foods. Just all the cute images from the paper. Even ants. Those ants are cute. I'm not a big fan of like bug uh, stickers, but doodlebug, you can do. So yeah, I, I love their puffy stickers. You get so many cute ones. And then I got the chit chat and these are all of the things that it comes with. So let's see, where are we? Okay, I think I could open these and show you a few of them. After this, I just have some Hobby Lobby clearance stuff to show you. So, Doodlebug comes with big sentiments like this in different fonts, you know, Doodlebug fonts, which is great for like photo albums and things like that. But then it comes with smaller things you can use on your smaller projects like this, the banners. This is a big one, but you could always cut it apart and, you know, put it on a card. Proud to be an American. That one's really pretty. Let's celebrate. Let's see. There's some bunting there, fireworks. Let's see. Let's get some smaller ones out. They always stick to the adhesive strip. Okay. And then they usually come with some of these like stamps too. Those would be cute on those like waffle flower cards if you have that like uh, stamp and die set. You warm my heart, happy Independence Day. 
thank you so much home sweet home and then like these cute ones too so yeah lots of great sentiments and that's i always get the chit chat because it's just it, it's so handy when you're making a project and you've got a sentiment already done you don't have to worry about stamping it or cutting it or whatever all right let me move this and i'll get my hobby lobby stuff out one sec just one more thing from a cherry on top. I forgot to show these. I had them off to the side, but I ordered these little buttons from the uh, from Dress It Up. They're called tiny seashells, and they come with these tiny little sand dollars and shells. And I just love the colors. Some of them are aqua, like that little scallop shell. Sorry for that shadow. And then there are little starfish too. I actually used one of the starfish in um, a card that I made for Scrap Diva Designs that I show, showed on my last, I think it was my last Scrap Diva Designs video at the anniversary card. And uh, yeah, it was um, this one I used. I just cut the back off and glued it onto the card because it was just the perfect scale. So these are nice and tiny. Um, so I think it just came up like, on new products and I was like oh I could use those so I added them to my order so just wanted to show those again that was a cherry on top all right so from Hobby Lobby I got some things from the jewelry section that were on clearance everything I got was on clearance and some things from the sewing section so I got these cabochons they were reduced from $5.99 to $1.49 and these are 12 pieces of different kinds of fruits so definitely can use these for my summary theme projects and it looks like two of each maybe yeah there's bananas pineapples grapes oranges uh strawberries back there yeah so i thought that was a good find and then i got these too i've seen these there a bunch and yeah they're finally on clearance so i got them they were 3.99 reduced to 99 cents just different colors of cherries looks like pink and red 16 pieces so yeah I um, love that love the whole fruit thing and I got these I wasn't sure what they were because I didn't have my glasses on but I think they're tiny little gummy bears so these were $4.99 reduced to $1.24 and yeah so there are 24 in there and they're just like little like uh crystal-y kind of gummy bears so I don't know if you could add these to shakers maybe to like a you know a really thick shaker but I thought they'd be good embellishments for bow centers or something so I got those and then I got these two these were from the Gilded Age section and they were $8.99 reduced to $2.24 and again with the whole fruit thing these are I think they're pineapples first I thought they were lemons but they have like you know like that diagonal kind of pattern on them so I think they're pineapples and then of course strawberries and then the grapes so yeah six of those I, I picked those up as well I'm sure I'll use them for for something and then I got these two these are from the hello happy collection reduced from 449 to 112. first I wasn't going to get them and, th and then I thought you know what these would be great to add to like the uh, um, like a mini album when you're adding dangles to it maybe a summer theme one they're all you know all the little fruits are pretty strung on for you so why not right so I figured I would get those and I like that it's silver too lots of times you know jewelry charms are gold so got that and then I got these from the fairy tale collection by B treasures from 549 to 137 aren't those the cutest chunkiest little mushrooms and they're kind of like iridescent there's five pieces uh, yellow aqua purple darker pink and lighter pink so I love all of them and I thought they would be really nice as just like you know hanging off a album or something like that too so there's that and then I picked up these little seed beads these are so teeny tiny and these are I don't know if you could tell but they're really pretty light purple uh, it's called OP violet luster I guess um, that's the number if you're looking for this one so anyway this was 99 cents reduced from 3.99 so these will be perfect for shakers and I don't have a lot of purple shaker bits you know purple is just not my color so although I, I find since my hair is gray that purple is one of those colors I could wear so I'm trying to get more purple into my wardrobe but that's a uh, that's another topic so over in the sewing section I got one thing of ribbon I got this pretty ribbon from uh, the ribbon boutique reduced 
from $1.99 to $0.49. Cents. And I might have this already, but I love it. I think it comes in red too, but this is the black version. So this one, let's see, let's open this up. I think it's like, not burlap, but maybe like a canvasy material. Let's see. Yeah, that's really nice. And it's double-sided too. So if you want to make a bow out of this, you don't have to like futz with, uh, you know, trying to make sure everything's on the right side. So uh, yeah, I really like that. I think that's pretty and it's nice and narrow. Well, you know, relatively it's 3 8 inch by four yards. So 49 cents. Yes, definitely. I have to be very choosy about what ribbons I buy because I just have way too many. So, but that one, you know, I'll definitely use. I also got this. This is um, self-stick mounting board for your like embroidery projects. You know, I like I love to do embroidery. Sometimes I frame them. So if you make a uh, embroidery project or cross stitch, whatever, you can mount it on this and it'll hold it into place. So I love that. I've, I've had bigger bigger boards like that. Um, this smaller one was reduced. To, uh, just in half, 49 cents from 99 cents. But these are really nice to have. So I figured I would add that to my embroidery stash. And then the last thing I got is this bundle of fabric. And this is embroidery fabric. So it's cotton, it says. Let's open it. This was reduced from $6.99 to $1.74. So it's embroidery cotton, five pieces. Now this says it was $9.99. So they reduced it, you know, yeah. Sometimes the Hobby Lobby will go and reduce their prices randomly. So originally it was 10 bucks, then it was seven, now it's $1.74. So they had other colors too, but they were not on clearance. But I love this color bundle anyway. It's really nice, like fall, um, you know, just like harvest kind of colors. And I've never used like specific embroidery cotton before. I always just use whatever cotton, you know, quilting fabrics I have. But I'm thinking this will be really easy to embroider on because it's nice and thick. So you won't be able to see like your stitches from the back or knots or anything. And I'm thinking like needles will go through it pretty easily because of that texture. So it looks like about a fat quarter of each. Let's see, 15 by 18. So maybe smaller than a fat quarter. But um, yeah, so I'm glad to get those and what a good price too. So that is my huge haul for this week, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. If you stay to the end, I appreciate it. <laughs> um, I always appreciate you guys. You always leave me such nice comments and you know, you give me thumbs up and, and just encourage me. And I really, really appreciate it. You guys are the best. So let me know what you think about this haul. I would love to know what you think about those new collections I got from A Cherry on Top. I just, I can't wait to get started with those. Um, I'm gonna be away this weekend, so I won't be doing any crafting, but um, next week I'll be raring to go. And I know the new Scrap Diva Designs um, design team bundle for July will be coming next week too. So I oh, can't wait for that too. So make sure you stay tuned. I'll have a, a product preview video for that, more projects of course. And yeah, so that is it for today. All right, you guys have a great weekend. I will talk to you soon. Um, have a wonderful day and uh, yeah, I'll be back soon. Take care. Bye.